Okay, now we are ready to perform a setup. So first of all, I will make a workpiece setup, which defines the part position on the machine. So here I have the machine selected, and here on the first uh, tab, which is setup tab, I will push this little button uh, in the workpiece setup uh, item. Now I can drag my part out of the spindle like this. I will input Z coordinate, let it be 210 millimeters. Okay, that's fine for me. Next, I will define a workpiece. So I go to the workpiece tab uh, here and by default Sprutcam defines the workpiece uh, around the part with zero stock. I will modify this a little bit. So first of all, I'm going to uh, push this button which is primitive and in this window, workpiece window, I will choose cylinder. I will choose center of this cylinder will be center of coordinate, sy coordinate system, not the center of the box. It is not the same. Next, I will increase uh, the stock and I will make negative stock, let's say 70 millimeters. And the last but not the least thing is the axis direction. So as you can see, uh, here we have the coordinate system, these big arrows, uh, which are coordinate system of the model itself. So, and uh, we need a not Z axis, which is here. Sorry, which is here. This blue arrow is Z axis of the model, but we need to select X axis. So I push X axis like this and press add. And here is my workpiece. Okay, close. Workpiece is set. And the last thing is the origin. So I go back to setup page and um, select this workpiece coordinate system. As you can see, G54 is here, now is in the center of the coordinate system of the model. So I'm going to modify it. I press this uh, button with three dots and drag um, my G54 where I want. But first I need to turn on uh, smart snaps. So I turn on the smart snaps. Now let's drag it somewhere in the center like this, check. Okay, it seems to be fine. Yes, the origin is fine. So I press OK button and the setup is ready and we are ready to create some operations.